What's going on, everybody? Thank you guys for tuning in to the Run Stretch Tech YouTube channel. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe if you find the video useful. So today, we're going to be taking a look at the LeBron 20 shoes. Now, there's been a whole lot of buzz about the shoe. Uh, we've got to see LeBron playing in them, you know, as he's been practicing, getting ready for this new upcoming season, as well as in the, the Drew League. We got to see him drop, what, 40 some points, grab a bunch of rebounds, and just show his talent. So also, we see that his sons have been wearing his shoes as well. So we'll take a dive look into how the shoes look and how they compare to the more comparable shoes that are all out right now. So let's go ahead and let's get started. All right. So let's get everything set. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we'll take a look at the LeBron 20 shoes. All right. So. All right. At first glance, we can see that uh, the bottom of the shoe looks to be, you know, pretty flexible. It looks like it's pretty good quality. You can see you got the, the double swoosh here, uh, Nike symbol there. And uh, it looks more like a, a low cut shoe, which is interesting when we think about his most recent pair of shoes. It looks like it's going to be a significant change. It looks like Nike is deciding to go with a different direction. But, I mean, just looking at this shoe here, it looks like it's going to be pretty breathable. It looks like it's going to be a pretty durable shoe. You know, you get your normal uh, seasons wear out of them. Uh, I don't know that I would want to wear these outdoors to play. You know, maybe once the shoes has gotten a little older, maybe I would do something like that. But I don't know. It looks more so like a, a indoor basketball shoe. Now, the material looks like it's some sort of uh, durable fabric. The shoe looks pretty breathable. Wish I could see what this, this symbol is back here. But uh, overall, it looks like a shoe that I would purchase as far as the pricing goes, we're not sure, sure yet, but if I would have to guess, this shoe probably wouldn't cost as much as the more recent LeBron shoe, which is the LeBron 19. Um, and this shoe doesn't compare to that shoe at all to me. So I'm going to show you what this shoe does compare to. So it kind of looks like this shoe here, which is a pair of shoe that I have. This is the LeBron Witness 6 that came out this year. So obviously you can see the uh, the, the, the design of the, the shoe is kind of going uh, vertically along the shoe. But then if you come back to this shoe, it looks like it's going uh horizontally so let's kind of do a side by side of both shoes here so i'm gonna take that out bring this back up here slide it over and now we can look at both of them so you can see the swish is kind of like in the same place uh i don't know it kind of kind of looks kind of like that it looks like the the, the structure is more so kind of based off the LeBron Witness 6. But then also I kind of see some of the KD15 in there as well. So <clears throat> I've gotten a chance to do a performance review in these. And so let's do a side-by-side -side of, of those. So, yeah, kind of look a little similar, kind of a mixture of, of these two to kind of to to kind of give you this shoe here. So let me slide this up, slide this down a little bit. All right. And so as we can see, to me at least, these two shoes are kind of making this shoe. I mean, do you agree with me? Can you kind of see that? I mean, and honestly, <clears throat> the roundness of this shoe 
kind of looks like the KD 14. So what, what do you guys think? So let's bring up the KD 14. Let me find that one. And we'll take a look at the the roundness of the KD 14. Just give me one second here. Get this downloaded so we can take a deeper look into it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest, guys. I'm pretty excited about uh the direction of this shoe. So let me save this here. Bring it over for you. All right, so these are the KD 14s. So you can kind of see the roundness of the shoe looks to kind of be similar to, to, to that shoe there. So, I mean, there's just so many different shoes you can kind of compare them to. Uh, now, let's bring up the, the LeBron 19s, and we'll just see that those shoes – kind of don't look alike at all so let me bring that up and you notice the lebron 20 shoe is going to be coming out soon because all of the lebron 19s are pretty much on sale so let's download that one and take a look at it as well but i'm, I'm not gonna lie guys i've gotten a a good uh run out of my lebron 19s um initially i didn't like them Overall, I mean, I couldn't hate on the shoe. It's a really good shoe, but for me and how I like to play, it just wasn't a good shoe for me as far as unless I wanted to kind of play bully ball, if that kind of makes sense. So these are the LeBron 19s, and this is how they compare to the LeBron 20s. All right. So I guess the roundness is kind of still there, but as you can see, it really doesn't compare at all to me. It's kind of, you can kind of see that KD 14, but then you can kind of see the LeBron witness. Now, the thing I like about the LeBron witness six is that this shoe is, is has a really good price. All right, it's very affordable. Actually, I got it for just maybe under a hundred bucks, and you can still get this shoe for a, a great price right now. So, um, you know, you can go to Dicks, you can go to uh the Nike's website, you can go to a bunch of different places to get this shoe right now. So, as for me, um like I said, I think it's kind of a mixture between the LeBron 6 the K and both of the, the KD 14 and 15s. I don't really see the LeBron 20s comparable to the 19s, really, besides at the top of the shoes. So that's kind of where we stand there. Um, what do you guys think? Is this a shoe that you're looking forward to? Uh, this shoe also, the LeBron 19, looks to be a pretty, pretty light shoe. You know, just from looking at it. Uh, in a way I like to play. Now, I don't know if this shoe is going to be comparable to you guys know. I love the Kyrie shoes. So I love the Kyrie 7s. I love the Kyrie low 5s. Uh, the Kyrie 8s were okay. Uh, but I love the Kyrie 7s and the Kyrie low 5s probably better than any shoe. And I also got to throw the, the LaMelo uh, MBOs on there as well. So... That's what we got today, guys. Um, hopefully, you know, you can kind of see where my thoughts are with the LeBron 20s. We think these are it. So we know they're going to be coming out soon. Like I said, you know, the discounted prices have already started to happen on the LeBron 19s. That's the indicator that his newest shoe is going to be coming out. And now we all know that this shoe since this is his 20th shoe, it's going to be known as a classic, all right? Just even if the shoe is not functionally great, it's going to be known as as, as a classic. So that, that's what we are, guys. Uh, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. But like I said, we'll be doing more videos 
like this, kind of looking at, you know, the shoes that come out. So I can stay on top of it. So you can stay on top of it with me. So next time, guys, we're going to be signing out. Peace.